Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything is going to be okay. I am so super excited about the information we just got about the next No Man's Sky update. I mean, it's pretty, pretty obvious if you watch my other reports that I haven't been super excited by the other reveals for the next update, but this one has me super excited. Uh, but first, I want to tell you how we got this information. Uh, of course, this is a Waking Titan 1.5 report, so I'm going to go over what we did in Waking Titan before we got this reveal. At 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time, Friday, July 29th, Toby's second conversation unlocked. Kobe is one of the... Kobe. Toby is one of the dreamers trapped in the simulation right now. Uh, his second conversation unlocked and as usual if you haven't done that conversation yet and you want to do it and try to figure out the the code um, for it yourself go ahead and go do that but I'm gonna tell you right now that um, the code is B sting uh, we found out in this conversation that Toby is allergic to bees and he was too young to remember it but he was stung by a bee while at a picnic with his parents and he had a really bad allergic reaction where his body puffed up and he nearly died but um, I think his parents told him the story of it later so he was okay and then of course I told you in the last report that we got information about a live drop that we were going to have and at 8 a.m. Central Time today, Saturday, July 30th, we got another uh, Precon 007. Uh, if you type Precon 007, it gave you this Precon Data Dump 04, and I will put the bit.ly link for that so you can see the image it gave. It's just a closer up image of the Long Wharf uh, Compass. It's a tourist tourist attraction there's this there's, there, there's this compass on the ground and this large walking area and that's where the live drop was supposed to take place um, and the live drop happened and a guy named why not Zoidberg who has been involved um, in the ARG for a long time uh, Elizabeth Layton mentioned him in her first Twitch live stream last year, so Why Not Zoidberg has been involved for a while, unless it's a different Why Not Zoidberg, there's actually a lot of them, but it's probably the same guy. He did a Twitch, t he did a Twitch stream, and I will link that Twitch stream, uh, I'll link his Twitch channel in the description, and you should be able to re-watch the live stream um, of the live drop because he has like Twitch Prime or something which means that his video will be saved for up to 60 days so as long as you watch it within 60 days of this video going up you should be able to see it uh, so anyway the they he and a bunch of other guys went to this spot at the Boston Back Bay Long Wharf and they met with the Atlas Foundation. I was wrong, it wasn't Ware and it wasn't anything that we were getting from Ware. It was just people from the Atlas Foundation having us do something. And the really exciting thing is that one of the Atlas people that came was Bob. People who watched Emily's live stream last year um, will remember Bob. He was the guy that came in and fed the hamster and did various other things during that live stream. So it was pretty cool they brought him back. They had said that he was an intern and that he was leaving um, Allison Smith slash the Atlas Foundation, but I guess they got him back to do this live drop thing or, or maybe they hired him, I don't know. But it's pretty cool they got Bob back for this. Now, the this is the puzzle. It was a complex logic puzzle, but the really funny thing was, well, let me just read it to you and then you'll know uh, what it is they had to do. Um, 
So they were given this paper that said, from Loop 16 to Atlas Citizen Science Division. Subject, Toby's dream. Toby's state is approaching a critical point due to the corruption and fragmentation of his memories. One critical memory that acts as a sort of bridge between two larger chunks of remembered information is badly fragmented. I have been able to extract bits and pieces of it, but it's not enough. I need you to recreate the memory and take a photograph of it for me. I've sent, you, I've sent a friend to help you. He has the required materials to reconstruct the scene that Toby is remembering. Once you're sure that you've got it right, take a picture and upload it to Toby's Reddit thread. We only have one shot at this, so make sure to triple check your work. And then it says, Memory Fragments. The sun is just beginning to peek over the horizon. Toby sits with his back to the rising sun, the tea party laid out before him. The cow has the creamer. The animals with teacups all have only one neighbor, only, uh, only all o have only one neighbor who also has a teacup. The animal sitting to the west is empty-handed. The birds are sitting next to each other. The cat is sitting next to the animal with the teapot. The bear drinks black tea. The puffin and the monkey are sitting across from each other. The elephant has the teapot. The bear has one neighbor who has nothing in front of them. The animal to the northwest has white tea. The monkey drinks green tea. The monkey's neighbor has the sugar. The hamster is across from the elephant. So they were given a bunch of Beanie Baby plush toys and teacups, little bitty toy teacups and teapot and creamer pot and whatever else. And it's pretty funny to watch. I'm sure there were, you know, people nearby, tourists and such, that saw them. It was grown men, you know, setting up this tea party with little plush toys. It was pretty funny. Um, and then once they figured out, obviously this is a logic puzzle where you have to figure out exactly where everything is based on these different rules of where some things have to be. So they set it up so that all of the plush toys were in a circle and they each had the right thing in front of them. Um, the hamster, yeah, it mentions the hamster. The hamster is the one that didn't have anything in front of it. Um, and so, yeah, they set up these animals all into a circle and there was like a group of people on the compass, which is where they were supposed to put it, but they had to wait for the tourist group to leave. Then they took all the plush toys over to the compass, put them in the circle with the correct um, tea cups and such in front of them, and then took the picture. And then the picture was posted on Reddit, and Emily responded right away and said she was going to show it to Toby. And then the Waking Titan Status Command um, said processing file, and then just a few minutes later, element four unlocked on the Myriad dashboard. So this is the big uh, reveal, the big announcement um, that we got. Uh, it's an audio file, and it, it's similar to when we start the game. You can hear the, the suit AI saying, um, Atlas suit, Atlas suit assistance system initializ initialization, or whatever it says, and then um, laser attachment operational, shield kinetic system online, jetpack propulsion operational. So those of us who play it, we know what's going on. We know that you're starting a new game. Oh, but something I noticed was you hear the sound effects before it starts that and it's somebody starting up the game and right now there are two menus to go through uh, when you start a new game you choose like if you're starting an empty save slot you click on that and there's a sound effect for when you choose the save slot 
and then you are given the four um, the four game modes normal creative survival permadeath and you choose that so then there's a second sound effect when you choose that option so currently there's only two menus that you go through and it makes that sound effect however in this audio there are three of those sound effects happening so whoever was starting up the game went through three different menus the menu to select the save slot the menu to select the game mode and then a third menu where it made the sound effect so that means there's going to be a third menu for us to choose from when we start a new game i'm guessing it's probably going to be choosing online or offline um, that would make the most sense to me um, <clears throat> that it would make you choose whether to play online or offline as soon as you start up the game which it would fix a few things um, people have been saying that it, if we're gonna have like PvP in the game it wouldn't be fair if someone's attacking you and you could just go to your menu and turn off online and then you would instantly escape from them it would make more sense if we could we would have to when we start the game choose whether to be online or offline and then we can't change while we're playing the game that way if somebody's attacking us we wouldn't be able to just turn off online and escape and also that means that it's it's possible to play if you don't have internet connection because if if you can choose online or offline when you log into the game that means that if for some reason you don't have internet you can just choose offline and that'll be fine but if you choose online then you have to have an internet connection in order to play that um, which I don't know I guess I just you know and this also could mean that um, I don't know that like a certain save file will be online and you can only play it online uh, I mean if you're the, in the sound effect, we know the person is ch is starting a new game, and they chose the save slot. They chose the they chose the game mode, and then they cho chose the save to be online or offline. It may be a one time choice when you start a new game if you choose for it to be an online. And this also could mean I know some people will be disappointed about this that we will not be able to play our old save files online that our old save files will be automatically offline and in order to play multiplayer we'll have to start a new game which is an online save file now that's that's all just um, that's all just me speculating but DM21 gaming and others have said that they're gonna have to make it so that in order to play online you have to start a new save otherwise it wouldn't be fair that you're playing online with people and we've already got like a billion units and freighters with a whole bunch of ships and like a 38 slot S class fighter that could destroy anybody and all that stuff so it may be the case um, but all I know from this is that there is now a third menu when you start a new game other than that we don't know for sure but at the very least we're getting a new menu um, when you start up a new game in No Man's Sky but next uh, after it starts it, it it goes through the whole Atlas suit initialization and then the really exciting thing is the sound effects this is just an audio file none of it you can't see anything but um, there are footsteps that I noticed when you can hear the footsteps of the players because right now like here in game I'm playing you can never hear your footsteps it's like you're an orb floating in the air which is exactly how you see other players uh, except we have a multi-tool that we can see but we can never hear our footsteps it, it and when we go into photo mood we can't see ourselves. it's almost as if we aren't really there or we're just floating above the ground but now there are sound effects for our footsteps and it sounds like the player is walking through gravel um, so Paul Weir who I assume is still the audio the chief audio person for Hello Games Paul Weir has been hard at work adding new sound effects 
like footsteps. And then of course the thing that's got everybody really excited is the animal sounds. There, there has been countless complaints about the animal sounds in No Man's Sky, that animals just make little squeaks and squawks and it sounds really dumb. Like even really large creatures will just like make squeaky noises. But in this audio file we have some really new um, animal sounds. At one point there's like this really loud roar of some big animal and there's also smaller animals making uh, weird sounds that currently are not in the game. Let's see if I can show one to you. Yeah, see that's the squeaky noise that, that creatures usually make. But now we've got some totally new things. These sound like I don't know, really weird alien creatures, um, but they definitely don't sound like these annoying squeaks that we currently have. And there's like bird sounds and stuff like that. So everyone's really excited about the new sound effects, and that's why I'm really excited, because this shows that we're now getting, at the very least, more sound variety in the game. We're finally getting um, better sounds for creatures. It may also mean that the creatures themselves are going to be going to be different. They're going to be maybe better animations, better AI, um, just more types of creatures than the ones that we have now. Uh, obviously, that's none of all of that is just speculation, but we definitely know we're getting better sound effects, and that's really exciting because that means they're definitely listening to people because. People have been complaining about the annoying animal noises for ages, so that's definitely something people have asked for, something that I've wanted, and it makes me really excited that we're going to get a lot more variance and a lot more immersive world in No Man's Sky. So that is the big reveal um, that I'm really excited about. The other stuff is okay. Multiplayer, that's all well and good. Um, ringed planets is pretty cool. Um, and the new ships is kind of cool, but planet surfaces are what I are, am really interested in. And at the very least, we're gonna get better sounds on planet surfaces. So that is very exciting. And I'm now more excited than ever for the continuing reveals, element five and six, the next two weeks. And then of course, whatever climax the ARG is going to have, and then the actual update finally happening this month, or, well, it's June 30th, tomorrow is July 1st, I believe, so we are very close to July, and so it's just 24 more days till the No Man's Sky next update. So that's about it. We helped Toby, which I'm really glad about. I really hope we can save little five-year-old Toby doing his... Uh, Tea, plushy tea party was really cute um, and pretty funny uh, with grown men arranging a tea party out in a public place and then we got this super cool reveal about the No Man's Sky next update. Oh and I will post a link to the audio file so that you can li listen to it yourself as well. So I have been Mac, thank you for joining me for a day and remember, everything is going to be okay.